Julian and I would like to thank everyone for their kindness. We love you! Kindness that has been shown over the past few weeks. Every action, every show of support means so much for us. And we would like to thank you all for helping us continue this fight. It's a fight for Julian's life, a fight for press freedom, and a fight for the truth. Over the past four weeks, <clears throat> the true nature of this prosecution has come to light. Julian is being punished for performing a public service that we have all benefited from. He is in prison because he informed you of actual crimes and atrocities being committed by a foreign power. That foreign power has ripped away his freedom and has torn our family apart. That power wants to put him in incommunicado detention in the deepest, darkest hole of its prison system for the rest of his life. Julian faces a 175-year prison sentence. Most of the charges relate to simply receiving and possessing government documents. Under all, the prosecution concedes that it has no evidence that a single person has ever come to physical harm because of these publications. Julian is not a US citizen. He has never lived there. He did not sign an oath to the US government. He should not be sent there. Julian's duty is to the public to publish evidence of wrongdoing, and that's what he did. The US administration's prosecution is trying to make normal journalistic activities, which are entirely legal in this jurisdiction, an extraditable offense. If he's sent to the United States, Julian will not be able to argue the public interest of his publications because there is no public interest defense. And because he is not a US citizen, the US says that he does not have free speech protections. The US administration will not stop with him. The U.S. says that it can put any journalists anywhere in the world on trial in the U.S. if it doesn't like what they are publishing. The U.S. administration is exploiting the lopsidedness of the U.S.-U.K. extradition treaty to deny justice to the family of Harry Dunn and to force cruelty and injustice on ours. This case is already chilling press freedom. It is a frontal assault on journalism, on the public's right to know, and our ability to hold governments, domestic and foreign, to account. <laughs> terrible crimes were committed in Iraq and Afghanistan, and terrible crimes were committed at Guantanamo Bay. The perpetrators of those crimes, they're not in prison. But Julian is. Julian is a publisher. Julian is also a son. He's a friend. He's my fiance and a father. Our children need their father. Julian needs his freedom and our democracy. It's a free press. Thank you.